Hello, I'm Chris Mapp and I'm the owner and chef of the Tickle Trout in Bali. Today I'm going to do a cocked pork which is a really nice cut of meat and what we're going to do is we're going to cook it and it'll be a little twist on a Sunday lunch. So if you're bored of Sunday lunches and all the garnish that go with it, this is a nice way to do something different on a Sunday. So today's recipe we're going to be using the cotton pork, like I said it's the ribeye of pork, it's a fantastic cut of meat. We're going to brine it first as well so that it keeps all its moisture and flavour. The ribeye has got a little bit of fat in there so it keeps it nice and moist when you cook it. We've got celeriac so we're going to do a celeriac remoulade, it's like a posh coleslaw I call it. We're going to put some chives through that as well and the potato puree, we're going to make a mash actually but we're going to just show you how to make it nice and creamy. Well the potatoes are growing right over there in the field by my mate Nick Horsley and uh, we get all the potatoes from him. They are Marfona's, they're absolutely brilliant. And then we're going to put a nice uh, gravy or jus with this and some locally grown kale. Just a few extra things in there as well we'll, we'll put on the dish. So uh, they cut the pork, beautiful piece of meat from uh, the butchers from the Cafferty Farm. And we're going to just trim up the, the bone here so we take a bit of the fat off. We're going to use the utility knife on the essentials, the kitchen essentials. And um, the, the beauty about these knives is that you get more control from the smaller knives. So what we're doing is just coming down the knife here like this, come down the bone, sorry, with the knife, take all the fat off and the excess meat because what will happen is this will burn. And the beauty about this knife with it being so sharp is that we can get really close to the bone to take the excess fat and meat off. So there we have it, nice clean bone. And this is now ready to uh, cook. Another nice clean bit of pork to go with it on there. Okay, so we're going to make the celeriac remoulade and we're going to use the kiritsuki knife now just to uh, square off the edges of the celeriac. Look how this glides through. Quite amazing, really. So, using the mandolin here. So, we've got nice slices of uh, celeriac here. We're going to use the kiritsuki now to get nice little julienne slices from them as well. So you see how this glides and what you want to do is make sure the knife rolls like this and this knife has got a really nice shape to it so it's got that natural roll on there as well. So I'm not chopping but I'm slicing and making this job a lot easier. So here we go, these are the matchsticks that we're looking for. This is a really really nice knife to work with. The celeriac, we've, um, we call it degorged. What it is, is it's just been covered in loads of salt. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, it's, it's like curing it basically. So in goes the celeriac. You can see it's all really shiny. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna simply squeeze out the moisture because we don't want the moisture now. There you go. The salt has done its magic. We're getting rid of all the salty celeriac water. I wouldn't advise to drink that. This now is ready to make the posh coleslaw with, or as we call it, it is the remoulade. So chives, we're gonna chop these nice and nice and fine. It's not an easy job to do. Now, this is the Global Herb Chopper, and I'm really looking forward to using this. I've never seen or used anything like this before. So let's just square up the end, and then we're just gonna go very slowly. Yeah, look at this. There we go. These chives are really, really small, beautifully chopped. The thing about this is a sharp knife as well. If it's a blunt knife, it's gonna to start to become very wet, the herbs, because they're not, they've been bruised rather than being chopped with something sharp. So it's really important to have a very, very sharp knife. And this is a beautiful, sharp little uh, herb chopper. Lovely, isn't it? It's great, like a little cleaver. Horsley potatoes from Barlow, look. So, quickly peeled one of Nick's potatoes, and we're going to use the classic G2 to uh, cut this potato up. Now, wow, <laughs> like knife through butter. So, if I was doing a roast potato, you'd have them like this sort of size. What we want here is mashed potato, so uh, we're going to do it just going nicely through the potato like this. What you want to do is make sure they're all even sizes. That's really important because they all cook at the same time, then you see. This is quite satisfying. This is a really nice knife to use, actually. 
And there you go, all nice, sort of same sort of size. So, first of all, season your water. Give it a mix, and you want to taste this water. And that needs to be like sea salt in terms of ocean water. And that's nice and salty. It's really nice, so that's what we want. We salt it first. Why do we do this? Because the disease will absorb all the salt. Okay, so therefore you have to add a lot less later on. If you don't season the water correctly at the beginning, you'll get a very, very bland mashed potato. Okay, so that's gonna go on the stove now. We'll come back to that later.
watch out for the pork. There's some air of him along. Creamy mash, local greens, rinse puree. It's funny. without a pint. This is what we're all about. So, just to recap, we've got the uh, ribeye or the uh, cut the pork in French, set out with a beautiful creamy mash, the local greens, pork twill, and some quince puree and some apple sauce and salad with pork sauce. Let's go and try this then. Wow, the pork's beautiful. It's nice and juicy, so soft, it's retained all its moisture. The pork crackling, amazing. So the remoulade will just cut through now with all the richness of the rest of the dish. And the mashed potato, one of my favorite potatoes in the world, mashed potato, so delicate and light and creamy, just works with every dish. And will be complete without a gulp of Timothy Taylor's. Cheers.